Go. Welcome everyone to episode 50 of the Games Cage podcast. And today and only today, we're all doing this podcast completely naked in our room. Yes, in our exactly. Homes. We're all naked uh, right now. Exactly. Uh, except, uh, except, of course, exactly. Uh, exactly. Uh, Johnny, Johnny, how are you doing this week, man? Exactly. No, no, we're all naked. We're all naked. I like it. I'm naked right now. No, I'm naked. No, there's no helping you. No, there's no helping you. It's over, my guy. You've been captured and ceased and desisted, my dude. It's over. Okay, okay. okay. What is that? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Any, anyway. Um, Welcome, guys, to the 50th episode of the Games Cage podcast that's right this podcast is actually one year old uh which obviously it doesn't i don't how many weeks are in here is it 52 or is it 52, 52. but we we've skipped weeks so it's been over yeah here. so well it's been a year so what's funny again again not a lot of people know this right but this originally was a solo podcast you know this was just me uh i did this i think i did the first it's kind of depressing it's kind of crazy first six. i yeah i did the first six by myself which is crazy i don't like it's like i can't believe i did that first of all and it's really funny that i did um and yeah i always thought i really just thought i just like it started as something i just want to just do because i want to talk about my gaming thoughts and i actually i mean it's only happened a few times but the original reason i didn't want to have anyone on with me was because i didn't want to deal with like scheduling or you know like i i didn't i didn't have people because obviously this was before we were really good friends right i didn't have people that i was truly i was like i can truly rely on this person and i know that like our friendship is gonna fucking break off in like wait wait yeah 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 yeah. Uh, didn't you have a girlfriend back then no, I did not. Thank you very much. Oh, Good one. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, exactly. So there's that. So there's that. Um, and it's crazy. Yeah, I did those first six, and then I think it was like so. It's episode seven, I want to say, where I ran. No, I just it was it wasn't even supposed to be permanent. I just like as guests brought uh, Jeff Noah Pio just as like a guest episode. I was like, fuck it, why not? It'll be fun. Um. And, like, man, if you guys go back to episode 7, like, Pios... Like, first of all, we recorded that on Skype, remember? We recorded that... Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. We recorded on Skype. <laughs> and, like, only Noah had a blue Yeti. So, I had, like, an old mic. Jeff sounded... Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude. Had, like, oh, no, my like, God. You know, you know what iPhone mic, right? It's, yeah. like, 10 levels below that. Oh, my God, God dude. That. Jeff was like the worst. He didn't even have like this is before he even had like a good headset, let alone a good mic. So it was like it, he sounded like garbage, and obviously his like English was even worse back then. So he just, no one understood hey, a no, single I, word. I, I, people don't give him enough credit for that. Like actually, dude, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Now that we're talking about it here, dog. Every other word, I was like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, because now it's like fluid. Well, because the bad English. Bro, try plus... living in a country where you don't speak English for like. Oh three years. no, I, I totally true. get it. Because like, yeah. probably talking with us was like your English for the week, right? I totally. Yeah. Get it. The year so, like, now. It was. It was still funny as shit. I was just like, the baguette that je play a Final Fantasy. And like, yeah. and, then, and the worst part is like, you add this shitty French to a shitty mic, and it's just it's un understandable it's fucking hilarious that was part of the drama that exactly. was funny it was hilarious it was really funny <laughs> oh my and Pio like he had an iPhone mic too and he was like oh well, PlayStation oh, to trick out, to fuck <laughs> oh yeah oh, and then Pio and then when Pio unboxed I remember Pio got his mic and unboxed it with a fork <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. That's what he what sounded you know? like. I really sounded good. I think there was no uh, choice of me to different. What do you mean, Jimmy Jeff? God. This one is standard. What do you think? What is going on? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> um, Christ. So then, yeah, it was that thing of like. We would then like people really yeah, like the struggle podcast. It was it was yes. honestly the struggle yes. podcast because people like started enjoying it, but they were like, I can't understand the other two, um, <laughs> 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 and people were like, which one is Noah? By the way, <laughs> so I was like, it's, it's this guy. 
Um, so that was funny as shit. But yeah, no, so it did that. And then what happens? Yeah, so then people really liked it. So I brought them on again. And then anyways, we started calling every weekend. So I was like, do you guys want to just fucking do this with me forever? And then you were like, yeah, let's fucking go. That bitches. sounds like a marriage. It does even, you yeah. know, it's. It is a marriage. It's a, it's a bit sexual. I, 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 guess, I guess so, you know? It, it's, it is a little sexual. I guess, I guess we've been wet for one year now. That's crazy. Exactly. I think, that, I think that that's why Jeff doesn't need a, like anyone in his life right now. Because exactly. He has exactly. No, exactly. Because, yeah. yeah. Exactly. yeah. Why yeah. have one? You can have four. You yeah. Know? I mean, Heads. like when Heads. I... Before before Fidel knew Jeff really well, he used to like uh, have always a girlfriend. Like he used to have like girlfriend every week. Right. And I was right. like, I don't honestly, know. honestly, I'm not even gonna like. Uh, how do I say that? I'm not even gonna deny that. Oh. Like, I don't. I, I it, I'm just. I I got my social like. Uh, I got my social um, like intake. Cake. Exactly my intake on this call. I don't need anything else right now. I'm just good. I I rather focus on school and shit. I like yeah. it. I like it. You know, I'm glad I I I did this to you. Know, hanging out with Fidel. Man. Wait, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? No, no, but you're not wrong, bro. Bro, remember? You're not okay, wrong. Remember, people have had relationships with this in this group, and then they call, and then a couple weeks later, they're done. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fadel oh, makes you bro. single. Yes. Yeah. Fadel is very, very good at convincing you that you don't need anyone. Exactly. You know, that's that's my that's my thing, bro. That's that's what I do. Fucking that's what I cult. Do. You know, that's that's the game's cult called. leader. That's what I do, bro. That's what I, I don't know what the fuck just happened to my Discord thing, by the way. I, the screen stopped sharing, so it's a whole situation, and everything's all Your fucked situation. up. Your situation. I am Your a situation. situation yeah. That is true. That is true. What the fuck happened? Why is it... Why is it doing... I'll figure this out, whatever. I'll just put this back here. Anyways, so, <laughs> point is, that shit was dope. It was fun. Meh. 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 I don't know what the fuck is happening. Okay. I agree. I agree. So, anyways... Point is, crazy shit. Now it's been a fucking year on this fucking podcast. So, uh, thank you for all the you're love here. and so I am. No, but you're forgetting. You're forgetting. I I can't, I, ha I can't let you do this to my boy, bro. You're forgetting a very key pivotal moment. Who did? Back when Animal Crossing dropped. Oh my huh? god. The Loxon himself. That's in. true. Yeah. It was when Animal the Crossing. Locker. The locker. The locker. He locked my son in a cage and threw him to the bottom That's, of the ocean with a know, scuba tank. He does That's that, bro. He job. do be doing that, bro. And that's the thing about him. He's just like, oh, what the fuck? Oh, ah, ah. Oops, I dropped out by accident. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I dropped out by accident. Anyways. But yeah, what I was it? Gone. Yeah, it was like March. It was around Animal Crossing where... where it was I, like right before quarantine. Yeah, no, because it was during the, quarantine, yeah. yeah, yeah, well, because we brought him on once, then we had him again, and then yeah. because of quarantine, we just started talking we to him a lot more every day. Yeah, uh, and then he was just here, and again, like his timing worked out because he wakes up early because he's three hours behind me. So mm -hmm. if he wasn't an er he was an early bird, he'd probably be fucked. Um, but yeah, no, it's because because it worked out for him, and obviously we obviously talked to him all the fucking time. So we're like, you know what, just fucking just hang out around. Because originally we were like, because the thing is, and we fucking argued about this, right? Um, I, when it's more than five people, it's too much. I think when it's more than five people, it's a little too much on a podcast. So that's why, like, we used to have rotating guests and shit, but I prefer like a solid cast instead of like always mustering for someone. Because think about it, would we have gotten fifty guests? I don't think so. I don't think I want 50 guests. I don't think there's 50 people I want to know. You know what I mean? There's no one, I don't want to know. Kinda... But I, don't... I have a question for Johnny. Uh -huh. Johnny boy. Johnny, yes. when I met you, you used to be like kind of normal. And now you're like not normal. How do you feel about that? The thing is, when like when you guys all met me, I didn't mm -hmm. talk at all. Like I was barely yeah. like speak. Right. But yeah. then the fucking yeah. um, Fidel just kept on telling me, yo, Johnny, you got to talk. You got to fucking talk. It's true. That is true. And I that won't shut true. the fuck up. And you I know, was it's, normal. It's, uh, it's, you know, I, I don't, I would like to say it's my fault, but I would also say it's not my fault. You know, it's on well, you. It's on it's, you to carve your own path. You know, it's what I'm definitely saying? your fault, bro. You know, you, I, Johnny came into this call, was very quiet. And then we we literally called every fucking day during quarantine. And over like after about three weeks, Johnny was talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> fuck Johnny. All right? Yeah, I said it. Fuck you. Yeah, I said it, bro. I don't give a fuck. All right, I don't make the rules. Johnny makes the rules. Me too. 
I do I actually. Do. I do. What? Make, I do make the rules. It is my. It is the the game no, cage. No, 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 no. I make the rules now. No, I don't. I don't think that's how it works. My bro. podcast now. I don't think that's no. That's not how it works. Well, everyone, bro. you're in the Johnny no, Lawson no, no, podcast. No, 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 no. You no. transferred. Stop it. No. We evolved. No. I no. I yes. said no, my guy. Okay. Yes. Yeah. If I, I found a bootleg way to fix this issue, but it's gonna look whatever. I'll, I'll figure this out next week. Anyways, point is. Thank you, you all, because I'm like the the screen fucked up and shit. So I'm trying to readjust it. It's fine. I'm figuring shit out. Did I ask? No, you didn't. <laughs> so fuck you. Okay. <laughs> all right. Anyways, point is, thank you all for 50 episodes. We're gonna get through a lot of questions too. But of course, we gotta do tradition as tradition dictates, because it's been two weeks. Let's start. Dictator. Dictator. You know me, bro. Speaking of dictators, Jeff. Wow, what, have, what, what, what the fuck does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what have you been playing the last two weeks? That's a good question, Fadel. Uh, I think I forgot. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, well, I mean, I think you never told like you never told people how it happened. Your your transcendence. You know Trans what? Transcendence when you started a certain game and now you can't stop. Oh, I was yeah, like, we, what the fuck? You is haven't talking? talked about this, uh, you know. Um, I'm a transformer, like you said. You, yes, uh, I yes. transform in, That's uh, into a, the FF14 hellhole. <laughs> oh, the thing no. about this game is that I started playing it last year because Sophie wouldn't shut the fuck up about right, it. Right, as so Sophie does. She told me she she told me to fucking play it every fucking day. Yeah, I said okay, I'm gonna try it, and I tried it. I was like, I didn't hate it, but I was uh. like. Yeah, I don't feel like investing in that right now. Right. So I just like play it on and off like once every like two or three weeks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I didn't do much. Like that shit dragged out for no reason. And I was dumb too. I was doing every single side quest in the game. Oh my God. So like that shit dragged out more than you should. Right. And now like um, like the, the, like the new near raid, the Yoha Apocalypse. And apparently it's fire and it's fucking continuing the story from Otoma. Oh. That's an actual sequel that, open, that opens for another near sequel, which is canon. That's kind of crazy. And a certain character is back. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to play it right now. So I started it. playing seriously. And mm. then it hooked me. And my life has been downhill ever since. How, so how many oh. hours do you have in total right now? Around 200. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. oh Jesus. It's fucking Jesus. crazy. I just checked his Steam profile. 194, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, Almost. But, but to be fair, to be fair, Jeff, uh-huh. how, many, yeah. how much of that is uh, gameplay? Because you usually turn on, turn don't turn. I'd off say like twenty is like sleeping or leaving it on. The thing is, the last two nights I've been actually sleeping on my chair, mm. waking oh up, play, playing, playing oh for like one two hours, and then sleeping again. So I don't remember. I don't remember how I sleep. That is some. That is some pro gamer moves, you know. It is. How, it's a power move, as they say. That's a Jeff moment if I've ever seen one. That is a Jeff moment. That is a Jeff moment. I what agree. does that mean? Uh, what does a Jeff, Jeff moment. moment truly mean? You know what I'm saying? It means you're Jeff in it. That is true. That is true. All right. All right so Jeff is in the FF14 uh, hellhole. And uh, hopefully one day he'll be able to escape. Oh, fuck. Friday is Tony Hawk. Let's go. Yes, it oh, is. is it? Yeah, it's this yes, Friday. Yes, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah! I want that so bad. I fucking love the yeah, PS1 yeah. so much, man. I'm fucking excited. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. All in, baby. Let's fucking go. Speaking of going all in, Johnny. Yes. What have you been playing the past That's, two weeks? Um. Well, I I think just mainly FF14. Oh. Okay. Okay. How I mean, is How I do you like it? Apex. Oh, I've been loving it. Like, uh-huh. I'm, I'm like addicted right now. You're into it. Like I'm level 30, 35 already? Jeff, what level are you? I am level 17. Oh. That was what the f- 70, 70, I'm 70, 70, 70, 70. Okay, okay. That's uh, that's a lot of levels, you know? That I I uh, I yeah. would say I respect you guys, but uh, I don't I don't want to do that. I, Whoa. I don't want to say that, so I don't. So fuck um, you. Actually, 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 oh, I'm oh. level 70 in the lance class, level 50 in the samurai class, uh, level 30 in healer, and level 40 in like uh, leader work. Okay. So okay. It's like every class has like its own level. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I like. I I like it. I like it. I would say I like it. Fair enough. All right, Pio. 
Yes, sir. You've been gone for 17,000 years. Also, uh, your Twitter is gone. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> and so this is this is your first, you know, appearance in humanity uh, since your Twitter uh, got fucked. It is, it is. Do you want to explain what you think happened, what's going on, like, just so people know you're alive? Um, well, I got some response from Twitter, as I put in the chat in, on Friday. Mm. And basically, oh. was, yeah, I think... Uh, I think the Final Fantasy uh, shippers who hate Tifa uh, mass reported me. Okay. And I applied for like uh, one of those like um, I didn't do anything. Uh -huh. things, so uh, but hopefully. Uh, <laughs> but no, 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 it's like, it, it has to be a hack though, right? Because you were deactivated, you weren't suspended. I don't know, man. I don't know. What I can't log in at least. That's uh, what I'm saying. It was hacked, bro. I, I can't reach for the password, but I can't log in. Yeah. No, you weren't. You weren't. You weren't you were banned. Like your profile is still here. We just can't. Like it's like the. It says it doesn't exist. If you were suspended, like if you go on one of my old accounts and search, it'll just say this again. Yeah, they just, when you suspended, they just sell it. This account is suspended. They don't like say anything else. Well, I applied for one of those things. I don't think nothing's gonna happen, so it doesn't matter anyway. Anyways, guys, don't worry. He'll make a new Twitter soon. He's just being a bitch. But what have you been playing? Okay, so I uh, obviously fall guys like almost every day. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, not as much because. Um, well, I have like too much money and you know max level and shit. Uh -huh. But I've been playing like with only friends when someone wants to play. Um, and then like I, I beat a game called Sea of uh, Solitude something. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, that's the the EA one, right? Yeah, I, I bought it. I bought it like in February because uh -huh. it was like only eight euros, and that was pretty like. Is it yeah, good? it has a good message. The gameplay is garbage, but it has a good message. Okay, it's okay. It's like fair. three or four hours long, so I beat that. Uh -huh. uh, I beat Man Eater. Uh, the Jeff game. Oh, and Jeff told, like, like I was actually surprised. I actually enjoyed the story. Uh, <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> no, here's the thing. Here's the thing Shut right? up, bro. Shut okay, up! Wait, wait, wait. I, I like the story of revenge, basically. That's all I said. What? What? <laughs> what? Yeah. What? I like, I like revenge stories. It know? wouldn't be. It wouldn't be episode had... fifty without Pio. So you like the you like the story more than the gameplay in that game? Yes. That must be a PS4 thing. That has what to be mean? a PlayStation thing. The, the no, PS4 no. must be trashed in. No, no it, it was good. Like, I, I enjoyed the game. I got the platinum. It was, uh, I had fun with it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, I, enjoyed, I, I, I highly recommend Man Eater. If it's, uh, I bought it for, like, 25 euros. Uh-huh. Uh, like, 30 bucks with shipping. Uh, physical copy. Like, I really like it. Uh -huh. Like, I, I really like how your shark evolves. And, like, the story gets deeper as you go into the game. Like, I hate you so like, much. I almost, I almost want to fight that dude. I hate you so much. <laughs> I'm actually serious though. This, I actually no, you're not serious. Don't listen to him. The, the story is like no, an afterthought. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> the reason why I like the story is because how it presents. Like, it, it's not just like, oh, here's a story. It actually has like story parts that make sense. Like, There's like five cuts in the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> those cutscenes those cut are about 30 minutes long. Like, that, that's. No, not... they're like two minutes long. <laughs> no, 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 they're like 30. Like 30, no! Like 30 total. I've anyway, been there again two times. I know what I'm talking about. I because... have them though. It is, is a good story. If you want a good shark story, there's is a good shark story. Yeah, this yeah, sure, said, whatever. This man said good shark story. No, I'm serious though. Like, I actually liked it. I really liked it. You know what? Okay. You know what? Whatever whatever makes you happy, man. This is, this is the proof when like a Christian dude is like, oh, the Days Gone story is amazing. <laughs> this is this is this is why. Like any story is like great. <laughs> they don't have the the standards. Gone story is top ten all time. They Thank do not much. they do not have standards. Every Who's story is like a great story. How does it feel not okay. having standards? Okay, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. Here's uh, the uh, thing. Talk, uh -huh. talk to me, talk to me. Um, Jeff is just mad that The Last of Us Part 2 is better than any anime story ever told. Okay. Huh? That's right. That's okay, right. just, just... He doesn't watch anime to fuck you, does he know? Is that fucking... The only anime you watch is fucking Dragon Ball. Shut the fuck up. No, I watch Fire Animes now. He can't say anything. Okay. You can't say anything. The Last of Us Part 2 is better than story any anime I've watched. Dude, let me, let me show you an anime where like, the camera is right behind the, the protagonist. And like, <laughs> yeah. it's slow as shit. Like, the anime is like five, 15 minutes long and nothing happens. You love it. Okay, okay. You love okay. to see it, bro. You love to see it. Anyway, the last game I've been playing, uh, I actually beat Modern Warfare 2 yesterday on uh, veteran difficulty. I'm trying to get the platinum. Jesus. Uh, how, how much of a masterpiece the story was? I mean, I liked Modern Warfare 1 uh, better, but the multiplayer is better in 2, though. But they had a lot of cutscenes. It doesn't matter. What? Oh, now it doesn't matter. 
Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. First, the gameplay. The Modern Warfare 2 has Ah, okay, okay, okay. Never mind. Yeah, what? My bad. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> what do you mean, Jeff? Where is your mad today? What the fuck? I'm not mad. I'm just, I'm just uh, astonished by like your, 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 uh, your, 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 your eyes, like your, how you view things. You're a special guy, you know? You're, okay. Yeah, you're very special. I don't understand, right? Uh huh. Okay, what, what don't you understand? What don't you get? Tell us. Okay, talk to us. Talk to us. We like yeah, every it. game I play, no matter what game it is. Uh-huh. I always look for it first, then the gameplay. That's the. Why don't you read a book or watch a movie? I do. But it's okay, then do you, why don't you just do that if yeah, you, you, you only care about the story? You but can... The things like the, those those things don't doesn't have, doesn't have the same effect as a good story like uh, the PS4 exclusives. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Like uh, Days Gone. And like... Yeah. Fucking Horizon Zero Dawn and like Last of Us 2 is amazing stories. Yeah, okay. Yes, sir. You know, okay. whatever whatever Ooh. makes you happy, I guess. All right, all right. Anything else or you're good? No, I'm good. Okay, all right. Noah, how about you? What you been playing? Playing, huh? That's an interesting question. That is an interesting uh, question. Uh, yeah, actually, Let, no. let's see. So, last we talked... <laughs> sorry. Um, last we talked, I believe I was playing Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition oh, yeah. on PC. <laughs> yeah, well, that's great because, um, yeah, the next update that they released made it to where the game wouldn't even run on my computer and it still wouldn't oh, run. Very it's nice. So very awesome. nice. I didn't even boot the game. Sorry. And I, I literally was ha- it, having so much fun with that game. And so, you know what? I'm just like, fuck it. And I can't split. But I started a new game this week. Uh, I, the Somnium Files, has been recommended to me by a lot of people. Oh. So I decided to start it up. Uh, it's like a mystery thriller, like bit like three D. Uh, it it's it, it's a visual novel. I would say like okay. Ace Attorney, but okay. it also uh, combines three D gameplay too. Okay, so how much how how big is like the visual novel part? Because like people have recommended me this game a lot, but like I don't like visual novels. Um, so uh, I would say that the visual novel is the biggest part of the game, but like, whenever six, whenever six, you're talking. Whenever you're talking to people, you can look around in the environment and click different things and investigate like you can Ace Attorney. And then they have what's called the yeah. Somnium World, where you go into the like the depths of the mind and you have to unlock these locks and it's like it's a it turns into a puzzle <laughs> game. The fuck? It's, 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 for... it's very it, look, put it this way, it's very interesting and I've played like three hours of it, but <clears> I've had I've had a good time for what I played. Um I've also I didn't get to talk about this last week. Well, I also uh, bought oh, Microsoft right? Flight Simulator and then the it's playing that, which um, let's talk a little bit about that. That's some how, how is the story? How is the story? Oh, oh, yeah, dude, story. Pio, man. Oh, I, gotta, I gotta understand Pio. Bro. Wait, yeah, like, dude, this is one of the best <laughs> stories in gaming, right? Seriously, though, this is a story. No. <laughs> Oh, oh my fucking <laughs> um, no. Fuck you, man. Let me tell you what the story is. Let me tell you, let me tell you what the story is, all right? The year is 2020, all right? All airports are shut down, okay? So you are mm-hmm. in charge of getting all the airports uh back, you know, to normal, right? So uh, you know, every pilot died of COVID. And how do you do that? Right? Land on top of Fidel's exactly. house. Exactly. That's right. Because all the pilots died of COVID, so we need new pilots in society. Right, so we're slowly <laughs> opening the airports, right, with new people that are in charge, and you, the player, are in charge of being the pilot. You know, that's why you're seeing all yeah. these people like crash into places and and like fly in weird ways because we that's are great. the new pilots. You know, society has fallen. Yeah. Now and there's your should 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 That's actually an amazing description. They should put it yeah, up yeah, they should honestly. Yeah, you know, yeah. No, you, should, you should put well, it. Up <laughs> Yeah, that's actually amazing. Like you saw me on the game right there. Yeah, you, honestly, you know, bro. I I I don't fuck around. You know, <laughs> it's called Microsoft um, Simulator 2020. So, yeah, to talk a little bit about it. I actually, uh, get excited. Man. I hope it's a good story though when I play it. I, I, I think that this is some of the most impressive technology in a game to to date. Uh, is it? It uses uh, Bing satellite data, so everything is reconstructed to like a perfect scale. Uh-huh. Like yeah, people have... are calling people are calling the first next gen game. Yeah, oh, 100%. Dude, like, it's, and here's the thing, the mm-hmm. weather in the game is live, it co- collaborates with weather companies around the world, so dude, I hopped on, and I flew through the hurricane. Like, it's that, like, dude, right where it was in RL, it's there. It's crazy, like, it's so, it's, it's kind of freaky, like, I'm not gonna lie with how accurate everything is, but, like, it's, uh, it's really good. I, I've had a good time with it, it's definitely the first next-gen game. So and like, here's also, my thing. Here's my thing. Here's my, hey, thing. Here's my thing. So like, let's say you I don't know want to go from like fucking Canada to Japan, right? 
Yeah. Is it like literally like the same length of that flight that you yes, have to sit but through? They have the thing that they, the good thing that they have is that you can speed up the flight A and B. You can also select uh like you can. They have like five sections of the flight, right? You have um. takeoff. You have cruise. You have cruising at the top. Uh-huh. You have ascent whenever you're going to cruising. You have descent, and then you have landing. Right. So you can select any of those stages and pick up right there. So like if you just wanted to go mm. to descent, right, where you're like maybe 500 miles away from Japan, and you're you're coming in on it, you can do that, and that would be like what a 15 minute flight. So you could do that. That's um, so weird. It's it's very it's very intuitive and and the thing i'm i really like about it mm-hmm. is that they're updating it constantly like with how the world changes like it's going to be live like live changes okay. okay um and they're adding planes and airports but to talk about the airports uh one more thing about this game uh-huh. i have uh currently a couple people in my family own a, uh, a lake house right uh-huh. and right by my that lake house uh and this is off you know obviously off of a lake um uh there's a uh, there's a little airport, right? Um, and I have never thought anything of it. Right. So I live in the north side of Texas. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I was flying up uh, towards Oklahoma, and I see the lakes. So I'm like, okay, sure. And I know I know on the lake where this where this place is, right? right. So I uh, I go down. Mm-hmm. And I see that fucking airport, and I landed at it. No. like. Dude, they have every airport that's in the world in this game. It's actually insane. And you have a drone mode that you can come out and you can go to the, any house or any locations down on the ground, like as you're if you're a person. So I pulled up right to that house, like like it was nothing. It's crazy, dude. Okay, like, everyone hearing that you can see the actual real planes taking off, like in real time. Yeah, it's it's crazy, bro. But I don't fuck I know. Yeah. So they're updating the game every time they like, you know, the world adapts, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every time that Bing takes like takes new satellite imagery, they're they're adding it to the game. So oh, wow. isn't that like a huge privacy issue? Like where people can get, like basically well, no, because you can't see people, you're just seeing well, well no, no, I know that, see. but like basically like you go into people's property and seeing how like Yeah, but like, no, you can so do that on Google Maps is, right is now. The properties? The properties are just modeled. They're not like that. It's not like a picture. It's like a model. Um, wait, wait. So, so it's like, uh, let's say you fly over Fidel. They can't see the plane? What? If you fly over Fidel's house, can, can Fidel see your plane? No. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. Um, Why not? No, but uh, so the you. thing, so this game is like 150 gigs just for the textures of the planes alone. But then... It's over 2.5 pentabytes of data, which a pentabyte is a thousand terabytes. Jesus and fucking that's Christ. Christ. That's, is that big? Because that's the whole world, and that's streamed to your computer from Azure, which is the same technology that uses xCloud. So, the no, hell? no, but like, Giant, the reason why it's not is because it's the same thing as if you went on Google Maps and just like scrolled around the world. Like, it doesn't, you know what I mean? I would compare this... It, I would compare this most to like the VR Google Earth. Uh, yeah, it's experience. like Google Earth. That's what I mean. Yeah. Like you could go anywhere Bro, technically if you want. Can't wait for them to add a VR mode to this. <laughs> that thing's gonna be crazy. But yeah, right. that's pretty much what I've been playing. I also played the Avengers beta. It's ass and fuck you, fanboys, for trying to come after me on that tweet. <laughs> you're, this game is you're you're fucking oh, stupid. Yeah, and I that, hope you that's wake up. Play too. Wait, no, I talked about it. No, we talked about it. Yeah, I think Jeff didn't yeah. play it. Yeah, and then he thought it was ass too. I hope you wake up from this terrible nightmare that you've consumed um, yourself in and uh, realize the monstrosity <laughs> that this game is. All I'm gonna say is that uh, press F to Ox Man. <laughs> oh my god, wait, awesome. holy shit, that comes out Friday too! Yes, it bro. Does. How oh crazy is it though that in less than a week an Avengers game comes out yeah. and no one cares? A That's triple A Avengers game bro. and no the, one the cares. The thing is, it's gonna sell millions, and we all know that. Yep. Yeah, but it's not gonna it's not, it's not gonna do it's not gonna do what it's supposed to do, basically. That this uh-huh. game is supposed to do like 30 million a year or something. I, I, was, I think this game's gonna review in like the 60s, 70s. Yeah, 60 yeah. Million. well the thing is like they're gonna make the profit back 100 percent Yeah, yeah. So they don't really care. I don't um, know if they will, man. They've been working on this for like five, six years. They've fucking Yeah, we don't know the development budget, this. which it could be crazy. For um, Avengers, yeah. Well, I will say, dude, the game runs like ass on Xbox and PlayStation base. Like, the hair looks horrible. Um, but even on PC, 
Yeah, yeah it, no, dude, dude. Okay, yeah. To talk a little bit about that now because we're talking about it, dude. What the hell is wrong with the optimization in this game? The beta literally <laughs> had me playing around 120 <laughs> FPS for gameplay. The cutscenes dropped to 20. 20. I like. It's not like, even. Not it's, even surprised. It's really depressing, man. I cannot. I'm so excited to see a launch and see the amount of videos yeah. we're gonna. I have saw on someone the on Twitter line. say a 75 to an 85 is a good score for it because considering like that's where all the other games as a service. Have scored, I'd be shocked. I hope it get. I hope it gets a 50. Yeah. No, this game deserves. I don't think. Uh, I don't think it's. It'll be 60, yeah. 70. I think realistically. Mm hmm. I, ho I hope it reviews bad though because they need to fix it. Oh, it will. Do. It will review really badly. I. I no, I really no, see this bad. 60, 70 mat. Like, this game, it's like one of those things you'll see. I, I think there will be, like, a review or two that will be 42. So, it'll take it down. Like, it'll happen. I hope like that there's a lot of, like, twos and threes, though. I hope so. Just to fuck I mean, I mean, like, especially on console. Because it's unplayable, basically. Like, yep. if, if it's unplayable, it should be under a five. I agree. Because if it doesn't work. So. I agree. All right, fair enough. And uh, last but not least, myself... I've also been jumping around a lot of stuff, you know, waiting for Tony Hawk, so not really starting anything big and stuff. Uh, what did I do? I've been playing a fuck ton of Fall Guys still. Like, I think on PC, I'm level 31. On PS4, I'm level 35. So, I've been playing a shit ton of Fall Guys. Oh, wow, more PS4. Look at you. I know, I know. You randomly started playing Mario games for some I reason. did, yeah. I was in a Mario <laughs> mood because I'm waiting for the remaster. So, I, I, play, I beat Yoshi's Island, which is not really a Mario game. Um... I played I be I got I played Mario Bros U Deluxe again. That was really fun. Now I gotta play Luigi U. I've been playing Mario Odyssey. You know, I'm in a mood, bro. I'm in a mood. Hey, I my Fidel's face when uh Fidel's face is gonna be Walter White breaking bad meme whenever Mario remasters don't get announced. I'll kill I'll fucking just die in a hill. Alright? I'll just <laughs> die in a hill. Okay, but anyways, I've been playing a lot of Mario shit, uh, a lot of Fall Guys. What else? I've been, uh, you know, back in my in my. There's always for me with fighting games, I adore them, but like it's always like there's a time where I just dump shit ton of time into them. So I've been playing a lot of Smash, playing a lot of Fighters with friends and stuff. That's been really fun. Um, I think that's mostly. I mean, I jumped into Apex a bit with uh, Jeff and Miss Kiki. That was pretty fun. Um, I think that's mainly it. Yeah, I think that's it. Wait, 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 there's something else I'm missing. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Among Us. Among Us is really fun. Fuck, is that it? I think that's it. I think that's it. So, yeah, that's it. That's all. Anyways, speaking of that's it, that's all. That's, this has nothing to do with it. We started this week with some news. Now, we started with a Nintendo Direct. Yes. Mini partner showcase. Mini partner showcase. Mini partner showcase. We don't get, we don't get directs anymore. We're not allowed. Yeah, so we got another Nintendo Direct mini showcase. This time, not announced at midnight randomly, but just live dropped in the morning. Um, and you know, I will say, I enjoyed this one better than the last one. If anything, I prefer that they just drop this one instead of, you know, making me sad and announcing it beforehand. Because it was kind of fun to just wait for yeah. yeah, Kingdom Hearts was really good. Yeah, so we could talk about that, because obviously that, that's in the cover of our thing. Kingdom Hearts, man, looks fantastic. Box art looks amazing. It's like, it, yeah, again, box art is, it's uh, amazing. Like, yeah, that's probably like my favorite Kingdom Hearts box art, even it's even over three. It's one. I think three is still like the best. Three is still my favorite, but three is so good. This one's fantastic. Okay. Yeah, but I I do like Sora on the throne better than than Kyrie. I like Kyrie, but the Sora on the throne one is way cooler, to me. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, no, no, this game, I mean, over what? Over 140 songs. There's like a shit ton of content. You go through all these online, worlds. Online? Online co-op. Uh, yeah, yeah. co yeah. okay, co so the thing is, people uh, don't understand, like, it's a $60 game. Yeah. And people don't understand how much, how much content you're actually getting into oh, yeah. this game. I mean, you're, buying the, like, yeah. you're basically buying the whole soundtrack of Kingdom Hearts. I mean, think about it. You're basically, if you were to boil it to its 50 cents per song... You're and you're getting yeah. 140 songs basically. Dude, that's like uh, 60 bucks. There's 100, 145 exactly. songs, and that's insane. It's and insane. new story. And then 14. No. Fuck up. No. No. Yeah, yeah. It's like, well, no, you, did you see the amount of song that game had? Okay, but does it have a rhythm game? It does actually. I mean, there is the. It's called, God, it's, it's called Gold Saucer. What the fuck oh, is that? You know, honestly. Anyway, FF, you know, <laughs> FF is different than Kingdom Hearts. 
No, so, no, but there are epic rhythm games like in Final Fantasy VII Remake, you know? And now, that, that kind of. What know? they should do is port the 3DS uh, Final Fantasy rhythm games. There were two Final Fantasy rhythm games on 3DS uh, called Rhythm Heaven. They were really great. They had all the OSTs from uh, 1 through 13. I really love that. Um, they should port it to the Switch and add the FF15 and 14 music. And then everybody will be happy. My, my, my biggest issue with this is the release date. So yeah, uh, w- <laughs> let's talk about that, Pi. How about that? So that game comes out November 13th. And Yakuza 7 comes out November 13th. Yakuza! No, the an- the annual and one more. Um, Call of Duty... Uh, wait, yeah, Call yeah, of Duty Black Ops. Black Ops Cold War, really unnecessary name, by the way, um, comes out November 13th. What? And that's not like, and four days later, probably, the next gen consoles Cyber, are out. No, Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk is out. Uh, actually, P- PS5 is rumored for November 13th. The 13th. That's what I'm saying. And oh Xbox, God, yeah. Xbox has room for the 6th. Yeah, a week before. And then, yes, yeah, Cyberpunk is that week. Assassin's Creed Nintendo. Valhalla is that week. Nintendo always has something on the fifteenth. It's over, bro. I don't know what's gonna happen. If you okay, also, if you uh, yeah. Godfall, Fire, I mean, there's just there's actually too many games. There's we way too March, many. We without March to FF Seven Remake was crazy. Huh. That's no, no. This is no, like March on steroids. This is March on steroids. November is fucked up. Like it, it's a it's a fucked up broken month. I don't understand. It's annoying. Jeff, are you excited for the Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory? Shawty, like a melody, yeah. In my uh, head. <laughs> wait, wait. Yes. Did he you, today you storm huh? Storm. Wait, Jeff, are you getting it again? No, no, he's joking. He's no, joking. no, I'm not. Oh, wow. How the fuck would he get it, bro? I am, Pyro. Yeah, good. I'm happy for you. And uh, so all of a sudden, the Nintendo Direct Mini, we got Big Rumble Bucks and Creed Champions, where you could play as uh, uh, Creed from the hit movie Creed, and you could play as Sylvester Stallone. As Rocky Balboa, um, you know the trailer had the da 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 da. So I mean, if you really, if your fantasy was to play as Rocky, there you go. Uh, they also announced collection of Saga Final Fantasy Legend, which were like Game Boy Final Fantasy games. So that's really cool. Um, and they announced Puyo Puyo Tetris too, which makes me very Puyo. happy. Puyo Puyo, but I really love Puyo Puyo Tetris. Uh, when it first came out in March of 2017 on the Switch. Really love that game. So I will definitely be picking this up. I wish it wasn't December. I don't know why the fuck it has to be that far, but whatever. Um, but that's mainly it. Was there anything else in the partner showcase? No, I'm missing. Uh, I think that's uh, mainly No, it. no. Pio Pio was the other, like, considerable yeah. big one. So, I mean, uh, this kind of leaves out. So basically what Jeff Grubb and all the others were saying is that there's this. And in mid-September, like the 13th, there's something is uh, finally when we're getting the traditional big Nintendo thing. Please, please. Which, I actually, like, even I, like, yeah. I want it so bad. I mean, all three of them, we'll get into that later, but like, all three of them need to talk in September because now it's getting ridiculous. Um, but yeah, no, yeah, so basically, actually, I mean, the good thing is that the farther, the farther we get into the year, the closer we get to big news. So September feels like it's finally time uh, for them to talk. And uh, yeah, and also, uh, speaking on Nintendo, we also had the Switch Pro uh basically confirmed because like a bunch of uh no you you know more about this right the shipping companies that have like yeah yeah, yeah. all right you want me to go over it? yeah give me give me the scoop okay so a taiwan based uh retailer and an analyst came out saying that there's going to be a switch pro or a revision we should say not yeah. considered a pro coming out next year uh assumedly q1 uh, not fiscal year but just like any time from january i would say april right um bloomberg Bloomberg came out reporting it, saying the same thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's yes, it's coming. Bloomberg said Nintendo was looking into 4K support. Um, wow. I, here, here's my honest opinion on this. I don't expect anything more than 1080p on the screen. And yeah. if we're lucky, Bro, maybe. they can't even do 720p. What would you? Yeah, no, dude. On I will take yeah. 1080. Dude, give us a 1080p screen on handheld. Give us an uh, and I will get to something else in I a just, minute. I but. just want to play Breath of the Wild on like 20 FPS. Yes. Dude, all I'm asking is, is give us that 1080p screen that lets us play like games like Xenoblade at actually 720p and not like 380p. Yeah, because right? all I, I genuinely want take... is better FPS and 1080 on hand. Yeah. That's it. That's all. And the, the bezel to be smaller. That's it. That's all I want. Yes. I don't care what else. All we need is that. So like, dude, and games like Xenoblade that are really big and consuming, 
just give us 720p with analyzing. That's all we need because like give us AA 720p. It looks phenomenal. It looks like it does on dock, right? Yeah. Now I'm, I don't know what they're going to do about the dock. They didn't say anything about that, but they said they were looking at 4k support and Bloomberg followed up the report saying that they're really heavily looking into having a heavy hitter software lineup for next year, right. which I think we could all figure. Yeah. No, obviously, the, this the titles for this year didn't magically get delayed. No, yeah. like the, this no, was always planned to be a, um, a small, a sl smaller and slower year because like, um, i think that like, the nintendo like i forgot what um employer ceo said it. he actually basically confirmed it like they gotta have like a switch revision next year with a whole bunch of games yeah the japanese public yeah yeah, yeah. Nintendo, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, the, the i definitely that, expect to me, like, uh, to me to me to buy the new switch uh the best thing would be if like if breath of the wild can run 60 fps is that possible uh it is I think, like, I think at least capped doing... 30. At least at least Here's capped the problem, 30. Because right? Breath of no, the Wild like... is 30 until you get to a really grassy area. No, because like um so basically they say like the new chip they're gonna use is basically a PS4 chip. So hmm. the PS4 well, can like obviously run it at 60. Here's yeah, the problem, it. right? I, I'm I'm about to get really techy and I'm sorry if mm. this doesn't make sense. No, go for it. Um, Nerd out. So the Tegra X1, which is what the Switch uses, right? Um, that chip is capable of running 4K. But Nintendo decided to clock it so low because of heat. That's the problem, right? That's the thing that we're combating really. every time. It's heat and how to dissipate it. Because the handheld get, can't get too hot for your hands. And the, the higher the chip is clocked, the hotter it's going to get, right? right? So that's the problem that they run into. And that's why they clocked it so low. So the tech, we're using like 20 to 30... I, I don't know exact numbers, but get to give you an idea, we're not even using half of the Tegra's power, right? Right. So that's uh, that's where this FCC filing comes in with a, uh, there is a dev kit. Now, this is just a dev kit. It's not an official unit, but it's still a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, got an updated memory, which is RAM changes, and a new SOC, which SOC is a system on chip, which is what the Tegra is. It's a CPU and the GPU just in one, right? Yeah. Um, so that could mean that they're like, I think it's definitely happening at this point. Yeah, but, it's uh, time. I'm just very interested to see where they're what they're going to do with Nvidia on how they're going to change this Tegra to make it much, like how much more powerful is this going to be? Right. Like, I'd much rather have it. I I want a bigger transition than the the 3ds to the new 3ds was. Like this needs to be like a. Big I think deal, it'll be a, right? a pretty substantial. It won't be too yeah. crazy because obviously you don't want to alienate like the other audience, uh, the like the 60 million that have a regular Switch. Um, but I think it's going to be a pretty, I think it'll be a fairly notable, like kind of like when they do a, you know, like a new 3DS or a DSi fucking Excel or whatever the fuck. Honestly, like with like the big graphical thing, I think they were just waiting for next year. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Next gen. Next gen. Because of how like, yeah. if you see how Nintendo's like, there's still like hotcakes right now. Switch. Yeah, exactly. So what's the point of Rat Chief? Yeah, no, no it's better. just going to be an updated one. Just better FPS on stuff. Make it so that, just make it so that in New Donk City specifically. It stays at sixty consistently. That's it. Just yeah. The only game. Oh, yeah. The only game. That's it. I just want it to be that it's an upgrade switch where when you go to New Donk City, it's sixty. No other game needs to be enhanced. <laughs> all right. That's yeah. It. So the, the launch for the Switch right was perfect to well, and yeah. then like for the Switch Lite, it was, yeah, it was like uh, Awakening. So does it only make sense the perfect yeah. well too? Oh, I I yeah. absolutely see that. I could that. No. If, no. I could see it being March with Breath of the Wild two again. September is really going to be telling of everything. September is going to tell us a lot, like, about... I think September is going to be a big show because we'll see whatever their November thing is, maybe a December thing. Well... Then, what's up? Oh, what you got? It's a big show. Yeah! Shut up, <laughs> Wait, isn't that a wrestler? Is it? Wait, yeah, it is. It is, it is, it is. Wait, so do you think they're announced... Uh, what do you think they announced to, like, the next quote? Uh... Around the holiday season, or maybe early next year, it's not going to be in the direct. Nintendo traditionally announces hardware outside of events like that. Like, yeah. they, look I at mean, the they, Switch, they, right? announced, they randomly announced it. They announced so they announced the Switch Lite two months before launch. They announced it. It was on my birthday. It was uh, July tenth. Like and a, it, it came was, out. It was September. in the morning, just randomly. Yeah. So, uh, mm, so, so they could do they, January. January. Yeah, January, and it comes out in March because they did that before. That makes sense, though. See, you're a smart guy. Yeah, I'm a smart guy, bro. You know me. I know. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but I like one bad, time, uh, exactly. Too my bad, final, you know? <laughs> my final thing on this: uh -huh. do not 
and I'm not like just to anyone listening who has crazy high expectations for this. Don't expect going in like some 4K native switch. This no, is going to no, be a, no, a refresh. It's a revision to 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 help the third parties still develop games easier. Yeah, I guess. Like that's that's what we're looking at. So don't expect some crazy console coming out. I agree. I agree. I agree. Anyway, speaking of crazy consoles coming out, uh, we had uh, a Gamescon conference detailing some next gen games and some other stuff. So oh, I'm gonna no. go through. Uh, so <laughs> wait, yeah, actually, let's before we I before I'll get into the things that matter. But because I really didn't get to talk to anyone about this except Jai. So Jeff, how did you feel about the show? I feel like um, there was a succubus. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sucking my uh, uh, pee pee. Okay, okay, but, okay. But uh, she was actually sucking my soul. Oh, through it. Okay, okay. So, like, that uh, I felt like uh, I didn't only waste time, <laughs> but I waste like years of my life, uh-huh. like two, three hours, if that makes okay. sense. So you think like you're gonna like, live I feel a like I life. age. Oh, okay. I feel like I feel like uh, I feel like the, it's fucking Jeff Kelly doing Jeff Kelly again, hyping <laughs> up shit for no reason. Yeah. Fucking screaming! They're gonna be new, new Ratchet and Clank gameplay when there's it's the only fucking thing we already seen with like five minutes of story. Yeah, I and was, I was that shit uh, killed me. We got Doctor Nefarious, you like, know? That's my guy. <laughs> I don't care. Just why? Okay, why take the same exact gameplay uh, we seen and extend? Why don't you take a new like? My no, thing I is, know, my thing is, why are you show me Ratchet when Spider Man's the one coming this year? Because Bro, Spider-Man's, Spider-Man's coming in two months. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, it's we haven't shit seen on any gameplay. No. What the fuck? It's just. It's so just. Interesting. Interesting. Was, okay, you this. I think they're just running into problems, so they mm-hmm. have to, you know. Yeah. Iron them out. The rest of the show was like, what? what? I don't even remember we're, what we're, they we're gonna get it. Forgettable it was. We're gonna get. That's all forgettable. Now. Wait, what? No, we'll get into the, the notable announcements in there. But Paya, did you like it? No. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Why you say that, dude? <laughs> no, all right, fair enough. I don't <laughs> like it. Here's the thing, right? I was having uh-huh. a good time with Jeff before before that. Uh-huh. And then, like, the, the event just sucked life out of me. I was just sad the rest of the night. I feel like it was just a waste of time. <sighs> it's okay. At least, it really was. It at really least was. Johnny and I kind of had fun on stream watching it. We had a lot of yeah, good but laughs. Yeah, like, it's different when you do it on stream because yeah, you exactly. Because like, you are you're yeah, laughing you are, with people. Yeah. Like, like like a three out of ten feels like a six yeah. out of ten. You know That's what I'm saying? That is uh, absolutely true. That is absolutely true. Yeah. Noah, did you enjoy it? Uh, all right. Uh, to go along oh, with were... what Jeff said, oh. Jeff Keely, I want you on this fucking podcast listening. Oh, right now. You hear that? Jeff Keely, are we on the same wavelength? Oh. Yeah. Okay, we're talking to Jeff Keely now. Hi, Jeff, Jeff Keely. Hi, Jeff. Listen, hi, Jeff Keely. Listen, hey, Jeff. here's what you need to know, okay, buddy? You're a good guy. Look, I love your enthusiasm. You do so much for the industry, but my guy, my guy, my oh, guy, my guy, bro, my guy. listen okay. up. Okay, this okay. is what needs to be said to okay. you in your head and get through those okay. wavelengths okay. of your brain, bro. Okay. Okay. This is what Call needs to happen, us? okay? Right. Jeff okay. Keeley, stop making these events so fucking long for no reason just okay. to say they're two hours. Give okay. us On a ball of crazy games. Look, I'm not saying the indies are bad, but throw i'm not against that at all but throwing them in there to make your show two hours instead of having like a one hour you know that's like fair, bigger yeah. announcement show is also stupid ads and breaks ahead. yes dude it's just like the game awards last year who the fuck asked for a fast and furious do not game remind me and no one even amen knows. amen the last the fast and furious game came out last week it was a big success everyone loves it, it. Came out yeah, it came out last week no, it came out? yeah what? Yeah, it came out, bro. You guys don't know it came out. It came out two weeks ago, bro. (laughs) No, no, I do not believe you. I I swear to God, bro. It came out on the 6th of August. Yeah, dude. I do not believe you. I'm serious, bro. It has like... 6% of 41 reviews on steam are positive it has like, so it's mostly negative it has like a 36 on metacritic it's apparently uh, yeah it's... literally the worst pc game i've ever played zero optimization on pc zero ability to change key binds or see and see what the actual keys are relative to yeah, do not buy was, this uh... this is the worst driving game i've ever played the story makes no <laughs> sense and the voice acting is horrible uh, this game is not worth sixty dollars maybe buy it for one sixty so yeah it's out, yeah bro. 60 if bucks you, you know i'm yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. And Namco published it. GG. Speaking of publishing, Jeff, we yeah, got what? Jurassic. So in the, so now we're gonna go through the games conference. So Jurassic World Evolution is coming to the Switch on November third. Wait for real? Yeah. <laughs> when did I confirm that? Yeah, that was in the pre-show. Gamescom. 
What the fuck? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah it's I'm gonna buy it. Yeah, November okay, but well, what the fuck is with Jeff Keighley getting good announcements in the pre-show, right? Remember No More Heroes last year? Yeah, and even, so Scarlet Nexus got a new trailer in the pre-show. It it's probably sad. like, ah, Reddit's not gonna yeah. like this. It's too <laughs> much. <laughs> it's not Reddit enough. <laughs> Open my mouth with a fucking beer. <laughs> 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 it's gonna give me gold, King Stranger. <laughs> you read it. Is that what Jeff Keighley yeah. sounds like? <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah, you read it. <laughs> Takes one Jeff to know the Jeff. What did I say? What the fuck? Oh, that's bold. I like it. Takes one Jeff to know it, Jeff. That's what I'm gonna title this episode. Yes. Takes a, Jeff, takes, takes a Jeff to know a Jeff. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Make, no, 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 But make the no, okay, but make the no, uh, my name. There you go. God. Yeah. Oh my God. I hate it. Okay, <laughs> fine. Uh, all right. Speaking of Jeff, so yeah, so we got that. So I'm going to go through the important stuff. So um, we got Doom Eternal, the Ancient Gods DLC. Uh, I guess John is excited <laughs> for this. Reddit. Yeah. Man, Reddit loves Doom. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got a great oh, it, it looks awesome. It looks awesome. It does. I mean, it looks. It, I wouldn't say it looks awesome. It looks. It, just is, like it, more looks, doom. More, it looks like more Doom. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The exactly. problem with my the thing I have with the Doom DLC, like, what the hell? It it just seems like more levels, yeah, and just, at the same time, it's like, bro, like, what is my buying point for getting this? Like, is there? New I mean, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I think you like Doom. You're gonna like it. it. Doom is about the gameplay. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're uh, right. Oh, you want to say, Pio? I can hear you. Pio, the story? <laughs> what about the story? What about the story, bro? Yeah, Pio, what happened? Uh, then they had very nice, innocent people <laughs> from Bioware, like, standing outside being like, we're, uh, we know you hated Anthem, but we're making a game you're gonna like, you know? Trust me. Yeah, that was... Hey, so, money. Hey, money. It was a very cheesy. I fucking hate when they do that shit, bro. Like when the developers are like standing outside in a forest, being like, "We uh, <laughs> want you go like." Yeah, like what the fuck are you do? What is this? <laughs> Why are you Put on your desk, like. Just go to your desk. The crazy, the, the crazy part is that the, the last announcement I think was no, it wasn't Anthem. It was uh, Massive Look and Drop. They did the same shit. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, yeah. Who, who likes this thing? Don't okay. they see the returns online? I'm scared, they're not big enough to do this. Yeah. They're not big enough. EA to do this. always does this, bro. When they don't have an announcement, they do concept art announcements. They always do this, bro. Every As a concept day. artist myself, this shit is boring. Don't. Yeah. Don't. Oh. There's things you don't do in a show. All right. Speaking of yeah. things you Nobody don't do. Nobody cares about that. Speaking of things you don't do in a show, you don't bring uh the doctor from Back to the Future to announce Surgeon oh Simulator. Okay. 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 <laughs> You're not gonna talk to you about this. I I sat down. Okay. I got home from class. Uh -huh. I sat down. <laughs> I sit down in my chair. I open the stream, and then I hear do 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 do, and I was like, Oh my! Oh yo! God. It's time for Back to the okay, Future. Okay. Now listen. These movies. I love these movies to death, okay? Uh -huh. And I watched them a lot as a kid, and uh -huh. I liked them a lot. And so, uh -huh. a game, I was like, oh my god, we're getting a next-gen Back to the Future game. Holy fuck. And I was nah, losing nah, my nah, mind, nah. bro. And then, she says, <laughs> search in simulator. And I, dude, I threw my controller. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even playing a game, but he threw his controller. <laughs> I love it. It's good. Uh, it was there. It was right there sitting in front of me. It's broken now, too. Yeah, so speaking of old things that no one cares about, The Walking Dead got an ex-bridge constructor game announced, too. Yo! I don't know why the fuck they'll ever I don't do know. that. I don't know, man. Yeah. But they did it. And then they announced Sam and Max, they're back! But it's a VR game. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, Medal of Honor, Medal of Facebook. Medal of Facebook. Jeff, do you want to talk about Medal of Facebook? Yeah, I want to talk about Metal on Facebook. That look, that shit looks like the next best VR game, and then it's like on a good street, so fuck you. Oh, the respawn <laughs> game? You're Is telling me no, you don't want to log into Facebook? Amazing. No, dude, the respawn game, the Medal of Honor game, that literally looks on the same level as Half-Life Alex, and they confirm that there's going to be multiplayer modes and stuff too. Like, that's... That's the kind of <laughs> shit that we are at need. <laughs> that the other 20 Oculus owners going to play, like, have fun on, on one map, I guess. God oh. damn it, bro. And I really like that's the only VR game I want to play. Now, yeah, like Alex, Medal of Honor, and like um, Stormland by uh, Insomniac Games. Like those are like the big, 
big budget experiences that makes VR so cool. But yeah. And then there was a nine hour World of Warcraft cinematic. Oh, oh my god. god. Dude. I think Koji oh. oh. from Twitter said it the best. This, uh. this shit is like it's like fucking FF14 but for straight people. Bro, but it's like it wasn't even like okay, look, look, Blizzard. They do those sick CGI. If it was one of those sick Blizzard CGI things, I'm like, this is sick to watch. But it was just these like moving. It wasn't even like animated. Yeah, it was like yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then and then there was like this horrible voice acting over it, dude. And it was like for World of Warcraft lore. Who the fuck gives it? I mean, to be fair, there's a lot of like. Fans of the series. No, but bro, but even like, I, they're not watching that show. They're not. Yeah, and exactly. I, and I, I, I heard a podcast with someone who's in World of Warcraft fans of the audience. Oh wait, there's no audience. I was watching a podcast where it was a World of Warcraft fan. He's like, bro, even World of Warcraft fans don't give a shit about the lore of World yeah. of Warcraft unless you're like a psycho. Yeah, because you just want to play the play. fucking game, exactly. So there was that. Uh, then Crash told you to wear your mask, but he did not show gameplay really. So. They're, they're, that's something they they did. And Jeff Jeff hi, uh, he hyped it or not not like our Jeff Jeff Keeley he yeah. hyped it up at like oh Crash is there Crash yeah, is just walking you. around the town wearing a mask fucking gym leader looking ass <laughs> oh also also we didn't even see that part oh yeah because yeah crashed. the stream was fucking up during that crash thing which is hilarious um but they did show Little Nightmares too which looks fucking amazing oh yeah yeah that looks scary as shit but it looked amazing. Uh, then they showed, you know, the Scar- Star Wars flying game. There's a single player for Pio, so that's good. Sure, uh, yeah, yeah no, uh, that's, I, I, I'm, uh, I was not on board with it, but after like this next trailer, like I'm like, okay, that might be fun to play, mess around with the VR. Yeah. So we'll see. I, I'm still not certain. I need to see more. And then Mafia's trailer looked amazing. Mafia remake was fucking yes. sick, dude. Yes, that, that's the one for me. It's shocking Actually. how good that looks. For people that don't Wait, know, is, uh, I actually watched the IGN documentary. It's mid-September. Uh, September 25th. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's actually built from the ground up and and it's only 40 bucks. And? Oh, yeah. And, and, it's 40 bucks. And? Yeah. and like, everyone watch it, I highly recommend playing it. Yeah, I agree. It's I agree. fucking amazing. Um, Then, actually, shockingly, Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga looked really fucking good. Because it's what like, do you mean shockingly? That's game of the year, bruh. But it looks sick. No, it, it's delayed to next year, it but it amazing. looks really good. All I'm gonna say, I had so much nostalgia rush because I played the shit. I 100 percent of the original yeah. the original game. No, but what's and cool the thing is, is I don't not, know yeah. shit. I don't know shit about Star Wars, but that makes you want to play the game. No, bro, you don't have to know really? shit because the Lego games are amazing and they tell you the whole story, but it's yeah. funny with the Lego humor, dude. All I'm saying, seeing all the original six films remade, like especially the Darth Maul fight, like dude, the animations look amazing. Well, it's really I'm cool so too. Is like it's not the traditional Lego thing where it's like top down puzzle. It's like third person, like it's more like third person behind the shoulder. Third person, that, that yeah, third shoulder, person. Yeah. It's which is crazy for like a Lego game. So really cool. Um, really love that shit. Then they showed some really ugly game called Struggling, which looked horrible. Um, Age of Empires, okay. So let's talk about Fall Guys. So then they showed Fall Guys yes. season two. Um, yes, they showed us a teaser of it, so it's not even everything. So yeah, so so now we know how seasons are gonna work. They're gonna be themed around a certain thing. Uh, and the first theme, which is a very Jeff style, which is a medieval theme. So you're gonna wow, have knights. Jeff you're style. gonna have like dragons. dragons There's gonna be wizards. like wizards. Um, we saw a couple mini games. So we saw a new version of egg, uh, sorry, egg scramble, uh, Daisy, uh, flying hoops. And there's this like new team mini game where you have to push these platforms to get past well, the it's game. It's not, it's not a team mini game, but it's like a free for all. Oh yeah. Right. It, but yeah, well, yeah they're going to be changing nuts. all the courses to be medieval. Oh, are they? I, I think that's what they said. That'd I be believe. sick. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean like, yeah, there's even some, actually there's more in the concept art. Like there's like. There's one of these that looks fucking nuts where it's like, you know, like that obstacle course where you like the platforms are spinning and you have to survive till the end. There's a new one where it yeah, has like yeah. spikes on it. It looks insane. And uh, I think it says season one is what, 40 more days. So, I mean, I think end of uh, September. I think is when 30 something. Days. Yeah. They, like, said, uh, they said it's coming 36. October. 36 from today. 36 yeah. today. 36, today. exactly. So, so early October. Like, look at this obstacle course. It looks so fucking sick. 
is crazy. Oh my god, I cannot wait to do this shit. Yeah, so no, it's really cool. It seems like yeah, they they remodel some of the the existing games and they theme new ones. So that's really fucking cool. I'm really excited for that shit. Um, and obviously, I'm sure we'll get more collabs in there. But yeah, really very happy about uh, Fall Guys. More content, man. I mean, it's the game everybody loves, so keep bringing that shit over to us. Uh, also, also, uh, yeah. just for the stats, uh -huh. it, it reached over 20, uh, 21 million players on PlayStation oh, yeah. and 7 million sold on uh, Steam. Yeah, it is the best. It is the number one most downloaded PS Plus game of all time, which is fucking okay, two weeks. So, Doritos is already starting to promote the PS5. Doritos? Yeah, look. Hold on, I'll show the picture. I'm sure they are, bro. Well, to be fair, to be fair, though, I keep getting commercials on, on YouTube for PS5. Look, that's hilarious. Win a PS5. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, so uh, Fall Guys looking dope. And then, yeah, we got a uh, we got a Ratchet demo. Yo. Yeah. I mean, hey, game, game looks fantastic. Uh, we saw Dr. Nefarious for the first time. Um, I'm gonna fucking cry, man. But it really was the mid the same demo again. They they what? did tell us beforehand that it would be a longer version, but still. But like they, they you got people like Jeff Kelly like fucking <laughs> saying every two seconds PS5, Rushing Link every yeah. every fucking episode. every <laughs> brand new like, sure gameplay. See, don't, don't leave. here's what would have been cool if when they got to the part where they show the girl like fucking ratchet, they continued with her. Like that would have been a cool continuation. Like when that demo got to, I'm like, oh, yeah. we're, we're gonna see them play as her and see what happens yeah. there, and they cut at the same but part. Yeah. That was whack. That was really weird. That was really weird. We did get some details afterwards about the game that uh, there's going to be a performance one where you could have it at 60. Uh, talk about how, how it's launch window, which I guess means the first six months. Yeah, I, I think March. Yeah, it seems like a, like a very big yeah, March, March April game. for sure. I, I, th I think uh, uh, Demon Souls is coming in February and the rest is coming in March. Mm-hmm. So that was the Gamescom conference. So let's, yeah, so now that, I mean, we've done all the, the topics, let's talk about these this next-gen stuff, right? Because, so, we are two days from September, right? And yeah. we do not have officially, again, we have dumb league, we don't have an official release date, we don't have an official price, uh, and we don't even have the release dates of the launch games and the full uh, launch lineup. So, this is the most chaotic yeah. launch I've it's ever seen. It's crazy, dude, like, I've never, usually by E3 June, when it normally happens, we have everything. We've had pre-orders, we've had yeah. price, we've had launch yeah, dates. Like, yeah. we are entering September. Even, it's like, uh, that's like, it's like, that's why I don't even get mad at just Nintendo. Because, like, none of them are talking. If anything, it's worse for the other two because they're launching two boxes. Yeah. I don't... It's like, it's, I don't... It's like, I know, obviously, it's Sony. They're, they're both being petty as fuck right now. Like yeah, they want both. to show the price, but they Petty just wait for each other. That's but the thing, thing is, yeah, like Sony has to understand they already want a generation. So whatever price they put out, they're going to fucking. No, so Sony's petty though. They're very petty. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. But like, we're legit three. Like, I think two months, three months away. No, we're two and months like, now. Two and a half. Yeah. Weeks, yeah. Like two months. Like, so it's like. Why? I think what Why sucks this too. Long? Here's what sucks too, right? Even okay, even if next week we get pre-orders open, right? Like, think about this. Usually, because pre-orders go up in June, people have a second and third chance of different waves of pre-orders, right? Because like, usually it'll be like, okay, like if the pre-orders go up in June, then in July it'll be like, oh, you can. Uh, there's more pre-orders up. August, there's more pre-orders yeah. up. You're getting now more it's chance, like, and if you don't, yeah, get it, you're getting done. more chances. So now you're going to have way fewer chances. Like, if you miss that first wave of pre-orders, you're most likely fucked until, like, maybe October, and then you you might not be able to get it in November. Like, it's like, that's the biggest problem. It's not just that. It's just that you have less chances of getting pre-orders. Well, luck luckily for Sweden, though, uh, you can pre-order here. I already pre-ordered mine. Right. But it's no, just... The thing yeah. is, like, so it'll be, like, just from getting it from PlayStation, it'll be limited, mm -hmm. but... They said like other retailers that have like a but like a buttload of them, bro. So I, I, you should be fine. But if you're trying to go in store, uh -huh. then you might have a problem. Hey, bro, Xbox Series S hasn't even been officially announced. Bro, bro okay, here's that's the, that's this month too. Ago, a couple of weeks ago, the controller for the Xbox One yeah. is in the and no, it's, exactly. It's, it's, it's out there, but they haven't shown it yet. What the 
the fuck? Yeah. It's hilarious. <laughs> I, um, yeah, look, you can buy the controller really and it says Xbox <laughs> Series S on it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro. Like, it says it, but they won't say anything. <laughs> They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just like, it's just, yeah. It's just, yeah. It's just, we have known that it's been called Series S since April. Bro. Jeff, I don't know if you know this, but the WWE 2K15 had their launch trailer two weeks after the game came out. Did they show anything before? Like, or, 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 <laughs> two weeks after the game comes out, then they have the launch trailer. Do you guys understand how fucked up this is? This is really like, uh, funny as shit. Like, I get COVID really fucked them over, but like, man. Not this hard, I, though. Not this hard. At least like shows oh, it's coming out in November for people to be like, oh shit, okay. At least say something. Don't just like it's because like they actually changed it from holiday 2020 to late 2020. Right. Listen, I I think right. I so, okay. I love and hate this thing. Like, okay, I enjoy certain games to be announced two to three months before launch. Like, I think for like a game like Paper Mario, like two months being announced before launch, perfect. That's good. I don't need to wait six to a year, six months to twelve months to to wait for that game to be shown and announced, right? But like some of these things, I'm just like I want like pre excite I want like a lot of excitement and hype behind them, you know? Like yeah, I want some build up and shit. Because they don't do it for the games that do like why the fuck do I see Godfall at every Forsaken event ever I've ever seen in my life? I know, this and no one cares about it. And no one cares, bro. That game should have been announced two months before launch. And then so and then they would have had less time to make it look like ass. Oh yeah! They showed Godfall at this event. At the game's yeah, God. Thing. All five people, all five people are gonna be angry at you, man. Yeah, I hope they do, bro. I hope they do. It's uh, you they should, uh, give them a moth and that's it. Yeah, like a moth skin. Yeah. I'm like, oh, what the fuck do I care about a skin for a game I don't know the characters or anything about? <sighs> so when it's... okay, like okay, look. So we're entering this week is September, basically. I I guess second week of September. All second of these week guys of September is probably well, going to be the, Xbox. The deadline is mid September, like the fifteenth. After that, I, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. Like, they're high. They're on crack like, or something. Okay, like, we know Nintendo because, so they have a big, invent, like, briefing on September 16th, so it's most likely going to be, like, a Q&A about the game, the games and stuff Ask that they're announcing. That. Or, yeah. or they might do it before that, and then they'll talk about the briefing. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm saying the event will be before that. The, the event will, their direct will be before that, so that when investors and stuff have Q&As about shit, they can talk to them about those games uh, so it has to be before the 16th for Nintendo. For Xbox, mm -hmm. they need it to be like the second or first week of, of September. And PlayStation also needs to be like either end of the month or early in the month. I don't fucking know. It's a whole situation. It's a big problem. Uh, it's... I think it's just frustrating. Because again, it's not a big problem. It's just annoying. It's just an annoying way. And I get the summer... Yeah. Like personally, and I know people won't. A lot of people won't agree with me, but this is like heavenly, like anti-consumer. It is. I mean, they're both kind of being pet quiet because they're being petty, they're being and not petty because they and have stupid, to be. Bro. Because like people don't know what to spend their money on. They don't know like, oh, should I wait? How much will it be? Like, you can't save up because they don't know how much you gotta save up. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I mean, I've said many times, I wish, I hope it got delayed, but it's probably not going to. It is no, I think commercials right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was like, if they do delay it, then like I feel like no, they're not. Going they're to missing out on a lot of money because people got their again. They got their um syllabus, their money from the government. They're stuck at home, so they want a new fancy box to play games on. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, yeah. It's fair enough. Pi, what do you think? When do you think they're gonna talk? I think uh, before middle of the September, uh, uh, Sony will. Uh, we know everything about Sony. Mm. Yeah, we need but to know the launch. Yeah. The, the guy, okay, basically the guy who was right about the first event is mm -hmm. saying September 9th. Also, okay, he was right about the June and August state of play. Right. Now he's saying September 9th. Um, so we should be done by at, at the very latest middle of September. Thanks, thanks. They're just waiting. They, they, they have everything like ready. They're just I waiting think, for yeah. the first company to say something so they can. I, like, I, I think, it. like Jeff said, I think uh, their event is ready. Everything is like. Everything is good. Like uh, they have their videos. Everything is up. Like they, they can just just like release yeah. it whenever they want. They're just waiting. Yep. Well, we'll see what happens then. But of course, to cap off episode fifty, we are gonna do a bunch of your questions. A lot of them are fucked up. A lot of them are good. But that's 
the way uh, life goes. All right, so let's start with my Discord channel. Now, I made the mistake of asking them questions, but we're going to go through these. Um, Snivy asks, uh, do girls poop? No. Ask Yaki. She don't. Okay. All right, fair enough. They do. <laughs> yes, they do. Not. Yes, they they do. do. Yes, they do. Oh, they do? Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. John, have you had anal sex? What? <laughs> <laughs> next, next, question, next, question. next question. Super Koopa four four nine four. Now we'll ask this for Noah. Have you ever heard of the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? I don't oh, care. Oh, Noah! Come on, Noah. You should know this, bro. Come on, Noah, bro. Come on, Noah. Come on. No. Come on. All right. Beam asks. I don't know who who here drinks coffee. coffee? Drinks what? Who here drinks coffee? I, I, like I can coffee. drink some. Okay. Like, no, no. How many cream and sugars do you like in your coffee? <laughs> Um, I like uh, four and four. I like cream pies. You like what, four Jeff? Uh, I like pies. No, you said I heard you say cream pies. And we would say that. We. Would. <sighs> I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. So yeah, much. bro. All right, all right. Well, if, if I if I drink <laughs> coffee, it's just for the effect. So I, I just go raw black. Okay. Now Soji bro asks, how do you live with the pain? Uh, I usually foam roll. Or do you do like a massage pistol? What? What? Yeah, when like uh, muscle pain, I, I usually do like foam roll. I'll do like a massage. But, pistol. Bro, you don't, you're doing you fucking the, drugs. From, the, 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 the thing is, I don't live with pain. The pain lives with me. So it's like, you know. is it pain? Yeah, the pain lives with me. Yeah, exactly. You, you yeah. use a <laughs> massage. Bro, right? he's not. He's oh not being God. literal. It's not how it works, bro. Now this man is like drugs a destroyer. He has issues. All right, now I mean, this one. This one's for Jeff. All right, so Jeff, if you had the chance to write a villain for Dragon Ball, would you take it? And what would their motive and backstory be? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a deep question. That's a deep question. Fuck it, you know, go. So, for it. Uh, um, okay. So mm -hmm. the villain that I'm going to write mm -hmm. are like all these like fucking basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, that's that's such... I have so many ideas. I can't just answer it like this. Well, you, you, know? Know? you gotta pick one. Pick one of your ideas. I can't, bro. I have to, I have to, I have to think about it. But if I have to, like, um, think about a villain, uh -huh. it will be... Uh, it will be... Okay. Actually... Uh -huh. Okay. It will, it will be... Um, uh -huh. the go all the gods of destruction we see in the tournaments. Uh -huh. They're like... Uh, they're like... Uh, you know, we're tired of fucking Zeno. Oh, this shit. fucking man child looking like a fucking rugby <laughs> ball, destroying everything because he's not happy. So let let's form like, the council, and the, the com council uh -huh. of like the galaxy, and we're gonna like turn against Zeno. Okay. And then uh, Beerus is like torn apart, right? Oh, he's shit. like, should I join them? Should I stay? Oh. And then Beerus decides to join them. Oh. Because like Beerus, and then Zeno turns to Goku because he's Goku's friend. He's right. like, yeah. Goku. <laughs> and then Goku is like, all right, let's fight. Hey, let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. I'm getting to that. So, um, angels, they like the, their duties are like uh. to, to serve Zeno. Right. Yeah. So like every angels has mm. to make a choice here. Oh right? shit! Oh shit! I like it. Do they stay with their gods or do they join Zeno? Oh shit! Turns out Whis. Oh. He 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 stays with Beerus. Oh. And then Goku is forced to confront Beerus at some point. <gasps> the, the, the fucking mentor against his students. Dun dun dun. <laughs> dun 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 dun. dun. And then dun, 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 dun. Goku ends up defeating Beerus. Yes. And then. Beerus dies with a smile on his face because he's, this motherfucker is proud, you know? Aww. And before he dies, he explains to Goku that none of the gods wanted to be destroyed. They all, they all hate that shit. They're forced to do that for <laughs> centuries. They are, they, they're forced to fucking kill all these people because of these kids. And then Goku realizes, he's like, I have to he put an end to this. I gotta kill Zeno. And then Zeno I'm fucking and destroy everything and it's over. Wow, man, that was, that was really touching, bro. Yeah. 
That's the end of Dragon yeah. Ball. That's the, end, that's the end of Dragon Ball. All right, well, there you go. Jeff ended Dragon Ball single-handedly. <laughs> uh, Sin asks, serious question. When are you going to do another Fidel Direct? Uh, probably November or December. That seems On like my birthday. Time. On your birthday, yeah. Just to take... I'm going to do it specifically on your birthday to take attention away from your birthday. Yes, please All do right. that. There you go. Um, what, uh, Happy birthday to you. Um, let's see. What's another good one here? Uh, favorite Pokemon... Who's everyone's favorite Pokemon? Charizard. Charizard. Beware. Yes, Beware. yes, Johnny, I love you. Charizard, mm -hmm. fucking goat. I like oh. Beware because he's dressed like Tubi. That is true. I like a Pikachu. Say Charizard for the fuck. No, I'm not going to pick Charizard. I fucking goat. I'm not doing that. I, I refuse, okay? Um, let's okay. see. Why? No, I'm not going to answer this fucking question. Fuck you. Um, why? <laughs> why? Um... <laughs> Why the fuck is Bertram all over this stupid thing? What the fuck is wrong with Prox? He keeps showing this <laughs> oh, random. He, what? he keeps showing this random fat guy. Yeah. I'm scared, man. I don't know what I've done here. Alright, let's Prox see. Is, like, dangerous. Gab, okay, here's a question for Jai. Gab <laughs> asks, how do I block in Kingdom Hearts? How do you block in Kingdom Hearts? Okay, so <laughs> you just middle button on your controller, right? Uh -huh. It has a PlayStation logo. Yeah. So okay. to block, you have to press on that, like okay. hold on it. Okay? okay, okay. And then you have to press your touchpad two times. Uh -huh. And then you gotta put R L two, R two, mm -hmm. X zero, X um, circle, mm -hmm. down D pad, mm -hmm. um, R three, okay. triangle, okay. option, okay. and the power button on your PS four. Okay, I like it. I like go. it. I like it. There we go. Now Nenkers asks, who do you think would win in a fight, Donkey Kong or Bowser? <sighs> That's a tough one. Um, um, I Donkey Kong, yeah. See, I think I think Bowser. I think he Bowser. could burn him. Now here's the thing, right? Because yeah, that's the thing. Bowser, if he keeps his distance, he can just burn him, and he's fucking dead. He's exactly. <laughs> like if he keeps his distance, you know, like if he burns him, yeah, it's exactly missing. <laughs> if he keeps his distance, he can just burn him alive. But if Donkey Kong gets up close. He could fuck him up. And personal. And personal, yeah. you know? He but the thing is, yeah. Bowser could take damage, like a lot of damage. That's so true. Like... That's true. It's a battle of the gods, surely. It truly is. And also, Dark Kong gets, like, if get hit once by one enemy, he dies, so, you know. I agree. Dark Kong. I agree. He's dead. Uh, another person asked Fidel, why don't I have friends? Um, ah. No one likes you. There, there you go. Your question's been answered. Um, sure. Help me says another question. If we do get Mario Remasters, do you think Galaxy 2 will be in one of those games included? Now, I pray it is. I don't know why every rumor says not Galaxy 2, which is really, it's just a weird thing. Why would you not have Galaxy 2? Maybe they're going to add that in later. Like maybe they wanted to have it in there, but they need more work on it um because you need like, maybe it's like a lot of stuff they got to work on with like the Yoshi physics and all that stuff. So, because like what, what think I um, because what if they're actually like revamping the whole graphic system for all of them? I don't think they no, are. I, Maybe I like, like for Mario like, sixty four. Mm -hmm. I think I think the most I think the game with the most updates you'll get is Mario sixty four. That'll mm -hmm. be like the most graphically updated. Um, Ace says, where do you expect Pokemon to go from here? Uh, they will continue to do small, 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 small uh, changes uh, for seven to eight games, and then it'll be in a good place. Uh, but then games will have evolved for eight more years, and then people will complain that it's not evolved eight more years uh, past that. So th that, there's, your, there's your answer, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, TOC asks, what's, what's your favorite controller? Heavenly. Xbox One. <laughs> this man said heaven. PS5. PS5? You don't even have it. Yeah, I have it. That's my favorite controller. No, you, How do you, know? you can't do that. Because I know. No, you don't. If you know, if you, okay. know you know. Okay, okay, okay. I hate you so much. My favorite is first PS5, then PS4, then Switch Pro Controller, then Free The PS4 controller is garbage, though. The PS4 controller is ass. No, no, no. It no, no, is. No. It is. Honestly, for me, I'm just gonna say the Switch Pro Controller because it lasts the nine. Not I don't know. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> honestly, honestly, honestly. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you. It's not funny, bro. Oh, you're making fun. Okay, of my my bitch. number one, I uh -huh. said Xbox One controller. I like yeah, it. Xbox One. That would that would number be my two, second uh, favorite. Number two, I guess Switch controller. Yeah. 
Number three, GameCube. Oh, okay. Uh, number four, um, Xbox 360. And number five, actually. Can, can we call it a uh, portable console? Yeah, I guess. Okay, the Switch Lite, the Switch Lite. There you go, there you go, it counts. Wait, so, has anyone, like, actually liked the Wii U Pro Controller? It's horrible. Okay, I, I loved it. It's horrible. I, I you, no, it. You're, you're, you're disgusting. It's a horrible, it's a... I love ho- it. You're dumb. It's a, that's a horrible controller. I loved it. That doesn't make sense. Why is the stick, why are the sticks above the buttons? That makes no Here's sense. Here's the thing for Dale. Here's the thing for Dale. No. If maybe you're built diff- Yeah, your mom's an ergonomic. I... I hey come down for that. No. <laughs> no. Hey, come down, man. No. Yeah, okay? down for that. No. I refuse. Yo, yo, I don't want to, alright? No, you listen here for You come down right now. There we go. Good boy. I hate you. With a deep passion. A very deep passion. Moving on. Moving on. Anyway, so now we're gonna go I to some... we forgot to talk about some news though. Which one? What did we miss? Camilla tweeting about Astro Chain too. Oh yeah, okay, let's. We, we stole it. So we could talk about Camille. So Camille, an interesting soul. All right, now. <laughs> yeah, okay, people need to people need to understand. He's not actually. I, I, I serious, love but... I love when like there's people that know nothing. I was like, oh, why is he being such an? Why is he being such an? I'm like, that's literally the joke, bro. Did you not see the that's, wonderful? That's that's his persona online, Damn, bro. Did you not see the wonderful 101 like, there's shit? There's a difference. There's, yeah, there's a difference between a dev that's just an asshole yeah. and a dev that's like humble and nice and just like being troll, a troll yeah. online. Because like in real life, nobody's ever said anything bad about him. No, he's, he's so, like the nicest yeah. guy ever. Like in interviews, like so humble, so nice. Yeah. But like he's, he even said, he treats Twitter like it's a fucking bar. Like, he, like he's here to have fun with people. People like when he's angry, so he's he just being... Yeah. He's, 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 People literally do a bi- use it as a badge of honor when they get blocked by him, so he just does yeah. it. He doesn't actually think you're an insect. I mean, he might think you're an insect. Yeah, he might, and I don't care. I he mean, he's right. <laughs> he is right. You are an insect, you know? Uh, but yeah, randomly tweeting Astral Chain 2. Uh, obviously, it was, the, it was the anniversary in Japan by the time he said that. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's obvious that game's going to happen. Like, the game sold over a million. It's gonna, it did super well. It's a unique concept they can evolve. I'm fucking hyped. And also, oh, the Monster Hunter thing. We got a new rumor about how uh, Monster Hunter for Switch is going to run on a uh, a Switch-specific version of the RE engine, which I'm very curious to see. No, my bar- how the fuck that happened? I don't know how they did that. Um, and yeah, that's really interesting. I mean, I, I again, you said, Jeff, that I think the handheld ones are going to be more like the traditional style. Yeah. I think they're gonna keep they're gonna keep the classic Monster Hunter, mm. and then they're gonna add the uh, quality of life feature world entrance. Oh, yeah, exactly. I hope so. That and would be the perfect mix. Also, I heard a I'm sad just... rumor that uh, RE4's development is not going well. So, what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the guy who yeah, works oh, yeah. a bunch of Capcom stuff was saying that. Uh, but yeah, Monster Hunter uh, for the Switch is being made, and right now RE4 is going through some trouble in development. <laughs> yeah, he said that they were having some trouble, but he said RE8 is looking to be fantastic. Yeah. I mean, as long as the actual sequel is better than that. I mean, like clearly that. that studio, man, like the I mean, RE3 studio has issues. Yeah, yeah, clearly they need, they need to be like revised or something. It's like they, they're clearly not doing a good job. The good thing like, is. Like, Resident oh, Evil no, was. Resident Evil was on such a good like way, uh, such a good streak. Like mm. it was going banger after banger. After banger. The, the series was like, I mean, it's, a series, it's not like a series that like yeah, people no. see a lot, like yeah. still hype. But like they they, they kind of like put that stain on like that good streak. Mm. Kind of like Days Gone, like in the middle of the Sony lineup, you know? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Hey, yeah. so Days like Days Gone, <sighs> gone so, still so more in fire room, so. Yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah. Let's not, yeah, yeah. No, let's no, not. No. When you look at RE3. R3 was, they cut stuff, and it wasn't very, like, it just wasn't as grand, I, you know? Yeah. It kind of came and went. Like, no one no well, one even remembers that game yeah. came out this year until I mention it every so often. And the good thing is, I, oh, and also the way they handled Nemesis was stupid. But um, the good thing is, Capcom knows they can't fuck up RE4. Like, you know, there's no way. So, hopefully yeah. that's fixed. Fair enough. Uh, then we have, uh, let's see, what's a good one? Um, serious question. As a content creator, would you like to stay on Twitch or also experiment with other stuff? Like Alfred is working on an album. Oh, uh, no, I think for now I'd like to stick to, to internet stuff. I mean, maybe I'd like to. I've always said I want to do a fucking album. It would be dumb as shit, but I'd do it. Oh, no. Yeah, no, time, you're going to have to compete with Ryan versus Rizzo. No, the, 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 the thing is, 
Off rap, he could sing. He could actually sing. Uh huh. But Fidel, I don't know if you guys have nah, Johnny, like Johnny, you Johnny. Johnny. I don't know if you've heard a lot Johnny, of rappers Johnny, nowadays. Fidel. You don't need to oh, know. Yeah, how to you, sing. you have a lot of time, Fidel, but like singing is not. See, I just gotta use yeah. my auto tune, bro. I don't give a fuck. Right? No, people won't. No. They won't. They won't like you. They like the old oh, Good. Man. I don't give a fuck. It's for fun. It's meant oh to be for fun. I don't God. take everything seriously, bitch. All right? All right. Anyways, um, why did you become a streamer content creator? And why did you think what? Wait. And did you think it would work out 100% when you started? I mean, I'm still not like, it's not like a fucking completely thrive to say it's 100% worked out. Um, but I did it just because I love it. You know, I grew up watching content creators and shit. So, and obviously I had a very uh, enthusiastic and fun personality. People always told me. I would be good at something like that, so I did it myself, and I fucking love it. It's fun as shit, all right? Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. What's your guys' thoughts on the... Okay, we already talked about this, so we're not going to talk about it again. Um, let's see. This is kind of... No, no. I think... Wait. Wait. Let me see if we have one more in here. All right. Afrox says, what game is y'all looking forward to for the rest of the year? Um... Spider-Man, Cyberpunk, 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 yeah. Cyberpunk and Crash 4, Cy uh, the both of me. Yeah, I want Cyberpunk, Crash 4, and if the Mario thing is real, the Mario thing, please. Uh, for, for me, uh, Cyberpunk, Spider-Man, uh, Kenna, uh, Godfall, Astrobot, Godfall. Crash, uh, Tony Hawk, uh, Mafia Remake. Oh, I forgot to bring Pyro to court. Oh. What? What do we it appears that um, um, I can I can check his Twitter, mm -hmm. but I recall he tweeted something like, "I tried the Avengers beta, uh -huh. F fucking mid, but day one. Uh -huh. How does yeah, that work, Ryan? Yeah. How does that work? Yeah, yeah. I wanted exactly. to know. Bro. Ta talk to us. Is that because of the PlayStation deal? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what. Case closed. Let's move on. Case closed. Let's move on. <laughs> and uh, you know, I, I don't even need. I don't even need to say, to, to tell my point. You get it. It's a thing, right? It says you get my point. You get my point. I feel you. No, I feel uh, you. Uh, Pyro, the case, the case is closed. The case you can closed. move on. You can't. You can't. The, 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 the case is closed. No, 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 no. The case is closed. The bro. case is closed. The case is closed. The case is closed. All right. And now, and there's a no existence. Now, some fun facts to storm your ha. Fun facts no, to storm your no, eyes. Fact. Jeff, it is episode 50. You gotta hit us with a banger fun fact. Okay, uh, shit. Uh, did you know, um, JRPGs were dead and your Persona if I bring them to life? Yes! Yes! yes. Right. Uh, also, yes. the fact that these were a fucking reference in yeah. episode 14. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Were they actually referenced? Yeah, I didn't read no. that. No, no, no. The FF14 came out before. Like, uh, the, the, no, but the for, for some of four came out before then. Okay. The Do you know that Phantom Team is actually for a fucking four. literary It's like it's like <laughs> Phantom Team is like a literature term. Like listen, 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 literature. Listen, listen, this listen. is a term that's used in literature. Yeah, that's because like uh, Persona, they actually lend it out to other people to use. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, so they Persona Five like went back in time to like teach this. Oh, exactly. Like oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Fun fact with Johnny. <laughs> Bruh. Well, I think that's everything, guys. Thank you for watching episode 50 of the Games Cage podcast. Um, we'll be here for 5,000 more episodes, so stay tuned to that. Um, we could get to 5,000 if we did like an episode every like two days. Uh, like... Honestly, it's going to be uh, whoever dies first is going to be the end of it. So. That oh, is Jesus. true. That is true. Oh, Jesus. Good thing. To, good... to be fair, though, I, I hate to say this, but uh -huh. uh, if someone, someone dies first, it's going to be Jeff because his immune system is way lower than ours. That is true. Yeah, what? I agree. Sorry, is... Jeff. Sorry, true. man. I don't understand what you said. Sorry, it's just a thing, man. I oh, by the way. I swear um, I didn't understand. He okay, said if okay, one okay, of us I'm dies, that, 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 if one of us dies first, it's going to be you. Wait, uh, to end off the podcast, Why? Um, I, I just got to say, you know, uh -huh. um, whoever dies first gets to decide what happens with the podcast. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> if I die, okay, you have yeah. to... Um, you have to use a voice mod to pretend you're me so that no one knows I'm dead, okay? <laughs> Alright, okay, okay, okay.
right, hey guys, guys been out here. All right, I, okay, I don't, I don't, I don't okay, 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 I don't need the slam. Hey, okay, 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 okay. Thank you all for watching. Fuck you all for watching. Peace the fuck out. Was that a two-hour podcast?